Bren from Grey House Studio and we are coming at you today from our Reading Nook tent, the last project we built for our nursery. We really like this project. It uh, was the last project in the nursery and uh, it kind of overlapped the birth of our son so it took a little while to get it finished but we finally got the canvas put on and it screwed down to the platform. Got our pillows to make it comfy. Yeah, and as uh, I'm sitting here kind of in a daze filming this, I'm realizing we should probably be taking a nap because that's what our son's doing, but here we are. Instead, we are filming this video. We might regret that later. <laughs> so we're going to show you how we made this, and hopefully you'll want to make your own. We started the build by constructing the platform and cut boards six inches tall for the sides and braces. These boards were attached together using wood glue and one and a half inch brad nails. I used a speed square to be sure that all the sides and braces were straight before nailing. Then I attached a top plywood board measuring 48 inches wide and 20 inches deep with the same nails and glue. Before attaching the carpet to the base, I used a half inch round over bit on the router to remove the sharp edges from the corners of the platform. We found a rug at Target that was 48 inches wide which made it perfect for this project and we didn't even have to cut it. To attach the carpet, we parted the bristles and stapled in between them. To find the correct angles of the frame, I clamped a 48 inch board to the bottom of the uprights and marked where to cut the boards. Be sure to measure both uprights. If one's longer than the other, then the peak of the tent will be off center. Both uprights should be the exact same length. Mine were seven feet tall. The peak of the frames are attached together using two pocket hole screws. After turning both of the frames so that the pocket holes face backwards, I connected them with a 1x3 board. The frames should measure the same depth as the platform. Mine was 20 inches deep, so the top tent frames measured 20 inches deep once they were connected with the 1x3. To add some interest to the tent, we decided to add a triangle shelf midway up. To build the shelf, I attached a back brace and a side brace. Then I attached a triangle shelf to the top of the braces. Finally, after moving the frame into the room, I was ready to attach the canvas to the sides. I used a factory edge of the canvas on the front side of the frame and stapled it in 6 inch intervals. Then I attached and cut the material on the back side to conceal the not so great looking cut that I had to make. The entire tent assembly was attached to the plywood base using two inch drywall screws. If you enjoyed seeing how this kids reading nook tent was built, be sure to give us a thumbs up and press the like button below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss more videos like this. As always, check out studiograyhouse.com for all the details on this build and for more projects like it.